you see my view, you see my window, the view here, you see all those trees. So it's pretty much like firestorm. <laughs> you know, when you see these trees and they provide a cold air coming in here. So most of the time I sit in my window and just look out there. It's almost like firestorm. You know. And that makes you happy? Yeah, it gets me happy. It gets me happy. Left fires to, because rebels were all over the place. So we started running into the bushes, moving our way bit by bit until we got out of Liberia. After almost close to four years in the refugee camp, when we arrived at JFK, uh, we were taken straight to Staten Island. And since then, we've just been here. It's called Little Liberia. was really teen. Thinking? Teen. What's about a teen? teen? Oh. And how you small, you teen. T-H-I-N. <laughs> I tell my kids, they are better off, you know, as compared to other kids in Liberia. They get educated from the television, computers, go on Google, get answers, go to school, learn. You have access to almost everything you can think of as compared to other kids that were left back home. Like when I started school in Firestone, I used to walk from Division 34 school to Division 33. That was like almost two hours walk. Imagine a man just in first grade. You have to walk that distance to go to school. When I was helping them, I was like between six, seven years. After school, they have to go clean the cups, come back, do your homework, go to school the next day. So it was a regular activity. Imagine one single man, you are entitled to collect letters or top 500 trees. That is too much. You need help. So because of that, you found a lot of Tappers engaging in a polygamy, having more kids. Imagine a man makes less than three dollars a day. Do you think he can afford to pay anybody to help him? He can make it. He has to use his kids. Then the rubber, did, they get there. That rubber comes here, and look at the tire guys. They make like thirty, forty dollars an hour. Like the other time, I went to the tire shop, I needed some air. So he said, oh, you got Firestone? I said, yeah, I got Firestone tires. I said, oh, I was born in Firestone. I said, this is the world's largest rural plantation. It's from my country. But unfortunately, we don't even have tires over there. We, we import tires, you know, so he kept laughing. He said, where is that? I said, West Africa, that's Liberia. Where the tires coming from, you know? Did he know where West Africa was? He doesn't even know. They don't know where West Africa. Oh, you know Africa, but he doesn't know where West Africa is. <laughs> 